Hello students. So today in this video, we are gonna learn the numericals based on differentiation under integral sign. So I know that you all must be knowing about the rule of DUIS. But we'll solve, we'll see the numerical which is based on DUIS where we will be applying the DUIS twice to solve the numerical. And for that, here we have a question that is evaluate integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus x square upon x into a minus 1 upon x plus 1 upon x e raised to minus ax dx. Now, to solve this integral by dys, we are going to follow certain steps. Now, if you will see here, then in this integration, the variable is x, whereas the a is a parameter. So, what are the steps that we are going to follow to solve this numerical? Now, these are the five steps. So, in step number one, we are going to consider the given integral as i of alpha or i of that parameter. So, here our parameter is a. So, I would say this as i of a and we will make it as equation number one. And then, we will apply dy's on that equation number one to find di by dA. So let's start. Here I'll say i of a is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus x upon x a minus 1 upon x plus e raised to minus ax upon x dx and this is equation number 1. Now, here I will say applying DUIS on equation number 1 with respect to A. So, this will give us DI by DA on the LHS whereas on the RHS we will differentiate under the integral sign and the differentiation will be the partial differentiation. So, here I will say integration 0 to infinity dou by dou a of the function that is e raised to minus x upon x into a minus 1 by x plus e raised to minus ax upon x and then dx. Now let's differentiate this with respect to a. So this e raised to minus x upon x will be treated as constant. So here I will say 0 to infinity e raised to minus x upon x outside the differentiation. Now the differentiation of a with respect to a is 1. Differentiation of 1 by x with respect to a will be 0 because this will be treated as constant. And here we will get 1 by x outside and the differentiation of this e raised to minus ax with respect to a will be minus of x into e raised to minus ax dx. Now here we can cancel this x term and we will get 1 minus e raised to minus ax in the bracket. So here I will say now di upon da is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus x upon x 1 minus e raised to minus ax dx and guys I'll say it as equation number 2. So if you see our step number 2 then it was that we have to apply the DUIS on equation number 1 and find the value of di by d alpha that is di by dA in our case. Now if you will see here then we have different uh, we have integrated by using now if you will see here then we have applied the rule of DUIS on equation number 1 but we did not get the value of di by dA because here still we have to evaluate this integral. Now the question is how to evaluate this integral. 
because here we have the x term in the denominator as well as we have a parameter in the question so guys what we'll do is we will again apply the duis on this integral to evaluate it so here i'll say again applying the duis on equation number two so applying duis on equation number two with respect to a now guys here you can also solve this integral by the normal rules of integration but since if you will see here that the question or the function which is given in the integral is quite complex to get the integration hence i am applying the duis back with respect to parameter a so that we can evaluate this integral in much simpler way so here i'll say by applying duis it will become d square i by d a square so guys carefully note this step and on the right hand side we'll get zero to infinity and we'll differentiate this function with respect to a partially so by doing that we will get e raised to minus x upon x outside and the partial differentiation of this term with respect to a would be e raised to minus ax into x dx now here x and x will be cancelled so we will get integration 0 to infinity e raised to now here i can take this minus x outside and we will get a plus 1 in the bracket dx and now the integration of this term is very easy so by using the integration formula here we will get integration of this term as e raised to minus x a plus 1 upon minus of a plus 1 and limit is from 0 to infinity now let's apply the limit that is infinity so e raised to minus infinity will give us 0 middle sign negative now we'll put 0 so e raised to 0 will be 1 and this term is negative so minus and minus will become positive a plus 1 so it means we will get 1 upon a plus 1 as the value of d square i by d a square now after that let's see the step number 3 so step number 3 says that we have to integrate both sides to get the value of i of alpha that is i of a in our case and make it equation number 2 now guys here we have d square i by d a square as 1 upon a plus 1 and if we want to get i of a from here then we have to integrate twice so i'll integrate first time and by integrating first time we will get di upon da so this term d square i by d a square is reduced to di by da by doing the first time integration and the integration of this 1 upon a plus 1 is nothing but log of a plus 1 plus c now to get the value of i of a we have to again integrate so i'll say integrating both sides again here we will get i of a and here we will get integration log of a plus 1 da now let's integrate this now what is the integration of log term and for this we will use the rule of Liet. so here we will consider the next term as 1 and i'll rewrite this as log of a plus 1 into 1 da so here i'm considering this log term as u and this one as v so it will give us u that is log of a plus 1 into integration of 1 with respect to a is a minus integration derivative of this u will be 1 upon a plus 1 into integration of v is a into da so da now here we got a log of a plus 1 and 
obviously here we will be getting plus c since we are integrating now what is the integration of a upon a plus 1 dA and to get that we will do the adjustment over here so in the numerator I will add 1 and subtract 1 so that here I'll get a plus 1 minus 1 and a plus 1 and a plus 1 we can cancel it by dividing this numerator separately with a plus 1 so here I'll say this is nothing but a plus 1 and here it is minus 1 and I'll divide separately with a plus 1 in both the terms and then we have let's say da and this first term is as it is that is a log of a plus 1 now let's solve this so a plus 1 and a plus 1 is cancelled so here we will get a log of a plus 1 minus in the bracket integration of 1 is a minus this will give us log a plus 1 so here I'll say a minus log of a plus 1 plus c so we will make this equation as equation number 3 now to move further and to get the value of i of a we have to first get the value of the constant of integration c and then we will again integrate this term on both sides to get the value of i of a now how to get c and for that we have to substitute some appropriate value of a in di by da so here equ equation number 3 as well as equation number 2 is di by da so in these two equations we will put appropriate value of a to get the value of c so by observing over here if we put a as 0 then this will become e raised to 0 as 1 1 minus 1 0 and this whole term will become 0 so di by da can be a finite value so here I'll say put a equals to 0 in equation number 2 and 3 so by doing this we will get di by da by putting a at 0 as 0 from 2 and if we we'll put it in 3 then we will get di by da of 0 is equal to log of 1 plus c and log of 1 is again 0 so we will get only c now the value of di by da of 0 is also 0 so it means 0 equal to c therefore i can say c is equal to 0 so guys we got the value of c as 0 i'll put it over here and we will get di by da as log of a plus 1 and now we will move ahead to get the value of i of a and for that i will again integrate both sides with respect to a so here we will get i of a equals to integration of log of a plus 1 da now to get the value of i of a we have to integrate this term and since we got the log term in the integration here we are gonna use the integration by parts and for that I'll call this term as u and we will create the second term which is 1 and we will call it as v so by using the integration by parts we can get the value of this integral so let's start so here first term is u so log of a plus 1 as it is integral of v with respect to a is a minus integration derivative of u which is 1 upon a plus 1 into integration of v which is again a into da plus c now this term as it is a 
log of a plus 1 minus here we'll get a upon a plus 1 da plus c. Now how to solve this integral? So to solve this integral we are gonna make the adjustment in the numerator. So in the numerator I am gonna add 1 and subtract 1 and then we'll divide that numerator separately with a plus 1. So see here what we get. So this a log of a plus 1 as it is minus now in the integral I'll say a plus 1 and this minus 1 over here and we'll divide separately with a plus 1 into da plus c. Now guys here we can cancel this a plus 1 term and we will get a log of a plus 1 now here we got 1 and the integration of 1 is a so a and this is negative sign then minus minus plus and the integral of 1 upon a plus 1 is log of a plus 1 plus c and this is the value of i of a and I'll call it as equation number 4. So guys here I got the value of integral i of a but still here we have the constant of integration c which we have to evaluate and for that we will consider some appropriate value of a and we will put that value of a in i of a in equation number 4 as well as in equation number 1. So this is the equation number 1 which has i of a. So in this equation as well as in equation number 4 we will put some value of a to get that unknown c. So guys here if you'll observe carefully so guys just observe carefully the equation number 1 and tell me what should we put over here to get the finite value of i of a. So I'll tell you let's put a equal to 0. So by doing that here we will get e raised to 0 as 1. So we'll get 1 upon x and minus 1 upon x both will be cancelled and since a is 0 so this term is 0 0 into anything 0 so we will get value of integral as 0. So let's start here I'll say put a equals to 0 in equation number 1 and 4 so from 1 we will get i of 0 equals to 0 and from 4 we will get i of 0 equals to so see here a is 0 so this term is 0 this term is 0 this is 0 so log 1 and log 1 is also 0 so we will just get c and since i of 0 is 0 we will see and we will call it here c as 0 So here we got the value of c as 0. Now we will put this value of c in equation number 4 to get the final value of integral. So by resubstituting this value of c as 0 here we will get i of a as here I can take this log a plus 1 common so log of a plus 1 outside the bracket from here we will get a from here we will get plus 1 minus a and c is 0 so this is the value of i of a and here we have evaluated the integral by using the rule of duis so friends so friends if you like this video and if you want to learn more concepts and numericals of engineering mathematics and also you want the updates of engineering mathematics then log into www.ekida.com and you can search my videos over there and you can learn the magic of mathematics thank you